Hi, this is Jim Wright. In this Post Builder lesson, we'll use the custom command library to import a custom command that was already built for us. Our lesson plan is to access the Post Builder custom command library. We'll then create a tool list inside of our existing post processor. And finally, we will install that post processor into NX. As a reminder, our starting point builds on previous lessons. We created a post processor for a 3-axis mill using a Fanuc 6M control. The custom command library that comes with Post Builder is published with each release of the software. We have several different topics that are supported, but these are usually things that are advanced or not standard, and that's why they're in the, the custom command library rather than being inside of every post. Not everyone needs them. We'll use the import function from the custom command tab to bring these custom commands into the current post processor. In our scenario, we desire to add a tool list to the NC program at the very beginning. Let's get started. For this last scenario, for this post processor, we desire to add a listing of the tools that are used at the beginning of the NC program. Fortunately for us, a custom command to do that has already been created and is in the custom command library. First we will import that custom command and then we will place it where necessary at the program start sequence. To import a custom command, program and toolpath, custom command, and then choose the import button. We're taken directly to the custom command library, which is Siemens, the current version of NX, post build, pblib, custom command. One drawback I find about bringing in custom commands is sometimes I don't know what they mean just by reading the name, so sometimes I have to click on the custom command and read the definitions for the actual custom command itself. But in this case, I've used this one before, so I know that I want toollist.tcl. I highlight it and choose Open. This TCL file actually contains several custom commands. One primary custom command and then others that are called from that primary custom command. In the comments are the instructions for where to place the custom command to make it output a tool list. I do need to bring all of these custom commands in, but it's possible for me to pick and choose which ones I want to bring in simply by double clicking the checkboxes. If I unselect a custom command, it will not be imported. Once I've selected the appropriate custom commands, I choose OK, and those custom commands are imported into my current post. However, I still need to activate it by placing it in the program start sequence. To do that, I go to Program, I scroll down until I find the command I want, which was called Create Tool List, and then I drag it just before I turn sequence numbers back on. Save the post and test it. It's that easy. Post process using my 3-axis 1 post. And I now have a tool list at the beginning of my program. This post processor is now complete. If you stayed with me through all the lessons, we have added 
the username or the NC programmer's name. We have added a complete tool list of all the tools that are in the NC program. We've modified the first line of code so that only three G codes are output. And we changed G71 to G21. Then we created a new second line to have that fourth G code that we desired. For each operation, we created some output information describing the name of the operation and some tooling information. Then, at the end of each operation, we output the estimated operation time for that operation and for the entire program up to that point. This post processor is complete. I'm ready to add it to my collection. To do that, I choose Tools, Install NC Post Processor, I go to the directory where my post processor is stored, and choose OK. I can then give it a name. I can determine where on the list I want that post processor to be placed. Choose OK. And the post processor is added to my program. It will now be permanently on my list. In summary, you learned how to import a custom command from the Post Builder library. We use that custom command to add a tool list to our existing post processor. And finally, once we were finished with the post processor, we installed it in NX so that it will always be available. You can add your own custom commands to the library simply by choosing Program and Toolpath, choose the Custom Command subtab, and then use the Export button on the Custom Command subtab. Thanks for viewing. In our next lesson, we will create a lathe post processor.